you. Uh, before I explain like this neighborly encounter I had, you, you need to know where I come from. Now, one of the reasons why Ukraine is like the ghetto of Europe is that, yes, is that our cities mostly look like the projects. And it's like tall, bleak buildings arrayed in like squares around large courtyards. And in these courtyards roam packs of stray dogs and children. And, and I was one of those. And we were basically like gangs without any redeeming value, you know, because we didn't have money or like, you know, drugs to sell. But, but we were in a constant state of cold war with the neighboring courtyards. And when you run into the kids from the other courtyard, the thing you can't do is show like any weakness because then they know you have no friends to like back you up in a future fight and then they'll beat you up and take your valuables like a pencil or something. <laughs> it was Ukraine, guys, okay? Was... So, it, it turns out you can take a person out of Ukraine but you can't quite take Ukraine out of a person especially when he lands in Alston. Uh, Alston as in Ballston without the yuppies, okay? It's, it's like just working class minority neighborhoods and I was living there with my then girlfriend and on this day we're uh, driving home and we're almost home and we stop at a stop sign because in front of us is this SUV. So both of us are standing at the stop sign and then the SUV's lights go from red to white, and before I can honk the horn, it just rams into us, okay? And so we all get out of the cars. The, the driver of the SUV is like a big guy, not relatively to me, actually, just like in absolute terms, big. <laughs> and, and there's a second guy who's smaller, but bigger than me still, and... <laughs> And then there's a girl who later turns out to be the girlfriend of the second smaller guy. Um, and she's, she is smaller than me, but scrappy, you know, like, <laughs> and like dangerous, like think, you know, Valerie from like the evil version. Okay. So, so she's, she got better. She got better. Um, so, and the situation just gets tense right away because out of nowhere, uh, like 30 of their friends converge around us. So, so I know like they have their neighborhood uh, gang covered, right? And so they, they, they're all around us and at the same time, my girlfriend starts calling the cops to report the, the accident. And the cops just tell her, this is Alston, we have better things to do, right? Just, just file the report. Uh, but at the first mention of cops, they all like disappear and the only people left are us and the driver and the girl. Now we're just standing there waiting because surprise surprise the guy who just randomly backs up into a standing car doesn't have a driver's license. So they're like this is what we're gonna do we're gonna wait for the driver's girlfriend because it's her car and we're gonna say that she was driving. So we're like okay fine. So we're standing there waiting and you know like when guys get into a situation where we're about to fight, it's usually because of a girl. And I don't mean like they're fighting over a girl usually, I mean it's the girl's fault. <laughs> like, you understand the difference? And in this case, this girl t turns to me and she goes, you shouldn't be calling cops anyway. This was your fault. And I should have just let it go, but but I can't, you know, like the thing I can't stand is when people lie to me when they know that I know that they're lying. Like, that's why I didn't vote for Romney, okay? Like, it's, it's just a pet peeve. That was cheap, that was cheap. Discount that during voting. Um, so, so I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And that just incensed her. And she turns to like whoever all those friends disappeared with her boyfriend and she, she screams, she's like, hey boo, boo, he's getting ill with me. And her boo runs over, gets in my face like this close. And he's like, what did you say to my girl? 
Melendez? Like, what did she say to my girl? <laughs> and like my Ukrainian training kicks in and I'm like, <laughs> get out of my face before something bad happens. <laughs> I said it knowing full well that the only bad thing that could happen would happen to me. <laughs> but, but the guy actually like backs off a bit and he looks to the bigger guy and he goes, you can take him. <laughs> and, and the guy goes, yeah, I can take him. And like all of them could take me, like each one, <laughs> including the girl, you know? <laughs> and, and I didn't, if you don't believe this, by the way, in the car it was me, I was driving, and my, my girlfriend, and my friend Victoria, who's here, so you can get her perspective on the story, but as she told me later, uh, she basically thinks, you're an idiot, and you're gonna get us killed, and she's just praying to God that we get out of there alive, and if that's too much to ask, that she gets out of there alive. <laughs> But I am on this high, you know? I'm like, wow, I have all sorts of power right now. I'm like, I have moral power, cause like, I'm right, you know? I have legal power, cause this guy doesn't have a license. And, and I just have fucking power, cause I'm like standing strong, you know, like responding to them. <laughs> and then, and then finally, the driver's girlfriend comes down and like all that power I've accumulated just like trickles away. Because first of all, she comes out of our building and it dawns on me that we might be running into each other more than once. <laughs> and they'll see me with my grad school friends, okay? Not with the Russian mafia, okay? It's just like <laughs> glasses and backpacks. And then, and then, Diane, you look beautiful today. <laughs> And then she also like mentions that uh, they're there for a wake so we shouldn't get edgy, you know? And I feel guilty all of a sudden for being all confrontational. And at the same time, I'm like concerned that people are dying around them and like, I don't know why, you know? And finally, she was like, all right, give me your insurance. And for the first time, it dawns on me that I don't have insurance. And when it dawns on me, I kind of freeze and I'm just staring at her, like thinking about my next move. And that, I don't know if you've been to Ukraine, but that shows weakness. <laughs> and they smelled it. And the girl got all, she was like, why are you staring at me? I asked you a simple question. And the guys are like moving closer, you know. And you know when like a guy's about to get his ass kicked? Uh, it's usually a girl that saves the day. And in this case, my girlfriend, stuff, she's like, you know what, let me handle this. And the police report said that uh, two girls got into an accident and no one got hurt. <laughs> Thank you.